Oh, hello there. Oh, I'm just sitting back on a red hot day. Perhaps you'd like to sit back and have a nice cool drink while I tell you about Cinderella. Why Cinderella, you ask? Well, I was going for a walk through North Derbyshire and I was captivated by the beautiful hills and dales and valleys. And you know what? It reminded me of Switzerland. And, of course, Cinderella. So, sit back, relax, and I'll begin. Long, long ago, ooh, centuries ago, there lived a poor girl. She had no parents. They'd, her mother died when she was a very young girl. And all that she'd left her was this most beautiful dress. Wear this, she said and your fortune will one day come true. Thank you, Mama. And with that, she died, as people do. So she hid the dress by a beautiful fir tree. And she went to work for this merchant, a very powerful man, very wealthy. And she went to work as a sweep, um, working in the fields. Basically, any filthy, dirty job there was, that was her job. She did her job as well as she could, and she always got filthy, black and dirty. And it came about that the king of the land said he wanted a, an event of musical dance and fun. Well, Cinderella thought, I wouldn't mind having a go at that. She asked the lady of the house, please, ma'am, may I go to this? Yes, of course she can, says, but you mustn't dance. Oh, okay. So she washed her face and hands and went and put on her most beautiful dress. And off she went. And as she stood there, the Prince of Land saw her and thought, Wow, she is beautiful. And he went up and spoke to her and charmed her, glasses of drink and would you like to dance? Oh, I mustn't, she said. Oh, come on. No, no, sorry. No, I can't. And the prince went away. But he couldn't get her out of his mind. He thought about her and moped about. And Cinderella went back to the fir tree, hid her dress, got her face dirty again and went back to work. It played on this prince's mind so much, they put on another do. Again, Cinderella was allowed to go, but no dancing. Again, she went to the fir tree, and as she put on her dress, she looked absolutely beautiful. A little man came out of the tree and spoke to her. I don't know what he said, but uh, it reassured the girl. And off she went. There was beautiful food, music, dancing. The highest and the lowest of the land were there. There were people dancing, there was singing, merriment in, in general. Once again, the prince went up. Hello. Oh, it's you again. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Look, come and have a dance. I'm sorry. My answer is as before. No. Please, no. And the prince went away. And he was deeply affected by this. He was so enamoured of this girl. He didn't know what to do. He wasn't eating. He didn't wash. He was getting a bit smelly till his dad told him to have a wash. And Cinderella was cleaning out the pigsties. She was mucking the fields. And she was sweeping chimneys. And again, for the third time, another social event took place. So it was. Back to the fir tree where she washed and cleaned herself up got a dress and this time the little man came out again and he was far more friendly towards her this time and uh, he chatted away again we have no idea what he was talking about but that's between her and the little man and this time the dance went ahead as usual again masses of food drink company and the prince said look i can't get you out of my head Will you marry me? I said, look, I would, but I'm just a meagre servant and I clean out stables and 
do all kinds of horrible things. I don't care about that, said the prince. Look, you, I just can't go on without you, you know? I'll, I'll treat you right. I don't care whether, whether you come from the rakes of hell. I love you. And she said, okay, I will. And as she said it, they got prepared for the wedding. And the little man appeared in the church, handed her a book. It was a beautifully bound book, and she opened it up. It was the will of her father and mother, and turns out they were great landowners. So she was on a par with the prince. And that, as they say, they got married and lived happily ever after. I hope you enjoyed that. Quite a... A fun story to learn and uh, yeah just goes to show true love wins in the end so anyway till we meet again oh don't forget if you've enjoyed yourself press hashtag fairy tale and uh, we'll get back to you um, leave us a comment we do have so many many comments uh, but we do endeavor to get back to all of you and we will it does take time, so please be patient. So, till we meet again, bye.